Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Normek. Welcome back to more of Persona 3 Reload. Last time we played the entire first block of Tartarus, which now basically freezes up this episode to kind of do whatever we want. So um, let's get straight into things then. Um, we're gonna go until a uh, an event is due to pop up on the calendar, so we have a good amount of time to work with. Um, so in between episodes, I did do a little bit of research, and there are two things I want to look into getting up and going this episode. And the first is, I have been told that the arcade is actually half decent in this version. Uh, so much to the point I think it outbeats every other method of gaining stats. However, it naturally is a bit, you know, expensive. Also, we should only do it for social stats, not individual persona stats, because that's just a bit silly. But, um, DVD store real quick. It sells a variety of music, but we can't go in. Then here's the pharmacy. So, I think on some nights, the um, arcade will give us social stats, but evidently not today. Well, you know what, I'm... I think we should work, and then, you know, we can spend a little bit more... Oh, okay, no, we can only drink coffee tonight, but um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. And yeah, no, I think... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll buy some better armor and whatnot um, for, our, for the event. Um, in case you don't know how Persona 3 works, like, every so often there's a mandatory battle, and, um... Yeah, as I said last episode, you're only really forced to go into Tartarus once. Well, twice. Um, once at the very beginning, and once at the very end of the game. So, realistically, you're given a lot of freedom in what you want to do. Um, but I just want to make sure that we're prepared for that mandatory battle. It is possible if you do not go to Tartarus, but, you know, I want to make it easy. Anyway, I can hear people talking. Good morning! Uh, I always hate when I feel super sleepy waking up on Mondays. And there's just another special morning assembly today. Didn't we just have one last week? By the way. Remember how Kurijo Senpai gave that great speech last week? Apparently they got the principal really fired up and now he wants to make a follow-up speech. Excuse me? Uh, seriously, what the heck? Why do we have to suffer because he wants to stroke his ego? I agree. Mandatory assemblies in high school are the worst. We'll now begin this morning's assembly. First, our principal has some words he'd like to share with you. Please give him a warm welcome. Thank you. What's the deal with the assembly? Do you think it's about the recent incidents? Could be. It's me. He shouldn't even know about the shadows or anything. I just hope this doesn't take too long. <sighs> He's not exactly known for his brevity. Um, today... I'd like to tell you about my, um, vision for this school year. As you are aware, strange incidents have been reported on the news lately. It is my firm belief that none of you are involved. However, the uncertainties of high school life are many, and overcoming this will require constant effort. You must dig down deep inside, but don't worry so much that you lose touch with reality. As they say, everything in moderation. This is the key to reaping all the rewards that school has to offer. The principal continues with his speech. Wait a minute. Doesn't this remind you of Kirijo Senpai's speech? Yeah, you're right. I guess he doesn't want to be outdone by a teenager? Can't really blame him, but still. Yeah. Well, into lunchtime. I feel I know what this is gonna be. No, never mind. Do you have a minute? I'm sorry, but I'll need some of your time after school. I have a special request for you. Aha! I think I know what this is. I apologize if I'm being abrupt, but I couldn't think of a better person to ask. I'll tell you more about it after school. Until then. This is gonna be, I think, the start of a social link, if memory serves. But before that, we're going to have to answer a question, I feel. All right, remember those quadratic functions? You all remember those, don't you? Sometimes a graph will be a parabola, or sometimes a hyperbola. Oh, they can certainly be beautiful curves, but they can't measure up to parabolic and hyperbolic spirals. These are algebraic spirals. Look, aren't they magnificent? So, after that... Now then, let's see if you can answer this from a mathematical point of view. Here we Which of the following is not an algebraic spiral? Wait, what? Um... Let me think. Uh, Makoto, do you know which one's an algebraic spiral? Whatever. Oh, uh, not an algebraic spiral. Okay. Um, A is an algebraic spiral because it... 
Oh, algebraic. That's the one where... Yeah, no. It... Algebraic is equal to exponential functions. So what we need to look for is exponential or the very same. So what would be... Hmm. It's, it's between C and D. But... Uh, no, it's D. It's D. I'm very confident it's D. Two. What? What? No. That's a logarithmic spiral where the golden ratio is the growth factor. It's called a golden spiral. You... I don't like you. I was so confident it was D because it doesn't start at zero. And also that doesn't follow an exponential. I'm not listening to you. Shut up. Shut up, you goose. I don't like him. I'm going to get him. With a capital G. Anyway. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hello, Mitsuru. Long story short, I'd like you to join student camp. Sounds like a lot of work. We meet regularly, but I don't expect you to participate every time. Just come to the student council room when you can. Why me? Because of your ability to lead. Being president is very time consuming. I'd like to have an ally to support me in the event of an emergency. An ally meaning someone who understands my situation. You know what it means to be a leader, so I'm asking you. Fine. I guess. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. And I've already filed and approved your student council membership on your behalf. Oh, of but course you, you did. Go to the faculty office on your own to sign everything. It seems like in order to find the student council, I'll have to get Miss Toriyumi. I need to tell her I'm going to join student council. I'm sorry for making arrangements without your permission, but I hope you understand the position I'm in. Once you're ready, come to the student council room. I'll be waiting for you there. Well, um, sounds good to me. Um, Mitsuru has left the classroom. I can join the student council if I submit some paperwork at the faculty office. Once again, we want to do this. The more we can open doors into multiple social links at once, the more efficient time will be. So this is going to say, yeah, I need to go to the faculty office. Ah, well, that won't take us too long. And yeah, just getting all these social links up and running is, I would say, it allows us to be most efficient with our time. You know, it increases the likelihood that, hang on, we went to Tartarus last night, didn't we? It's the nurse's office. Enter nurse's office. If you don't know about this from the original Persona 5, 3, get this. So, what brings you to the nurse's office? <laughs> do keep in mind that you're interrupting my uh, scholarly pursuits. And what's this? You seem healthy enough. My eyes cannot be deceived. I don't need students sledging around my office. Out you go. Shoo, shoo. I guess he'll only see me if I'm feeling tired. He might respond differently if I visit him the day after I explore Tartarus. It is the day after you explore Tartarus. Weird. Anyway, um, yeah, but no, if you see him after visiting Tartarus, I believe it gives you a point of courage in this version. So make a mental note. Oh, what can I do for you? It's about the student council. Ah, yes, yes. kirito san filled me in. Hooray. All we need is your signature, so read through this and sign here. All right, looks good. You can leave the rest to me. Good luck in student council. You have access to the student council room. Wonderful. Well, uh, now that that's out of the way, let's go and um, let's go do some student council related activities. And um, that's the wrong way, but you know, so. Even the student council are allowed to make mistakes sometimes. So, let's go in and uh, see what all the buzz is about. Alright everyone, this is who I've been talking to you about. He'll be joining us in student council starting today. Ah, so he's the one. I'm Hidetoshi Odegiri. I supervise the disciplinary committee. I'm Chihiro Fushimi, the treasurer. I'm a first year and um, I'm still learning the ropes, so... Please be patient with me. Nice to meet you. Hmm. You must be quite talented to be handpicked by the president herself. I look forward to working with you. I think I made a good impression on Odagiri. I joined the student council and got to know the members. I hope I get along with everyone here. 
Here it is. You thought you'd escaped after the last episode, but nah. And that is probably not the first time I'm going to see that this episode, if we're being entirely honest. Alright, well, we got it. We're not going to rank it up for a while, but it's good to have it there regardless. It's getting late. Introductions will be enough for today. What we want from you is to assist us as necessary. From now on, you have my permission to enter the student council room whenever you wish. Your time is your own after school, but try to remember the student council every now and then. We meet on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but we don't meet on days before tests. Thanks for coming today. I parted ways with the student council members and went back to the dorm. Okay, reproductive first day. We're gonna speed through a few more. Um, depending on if people want to rank up with me, of course. Welcome back. What's up, dude? All oh, right, heard you might be joining the student council. Kirijo Senpai, you sure you want a little slacker like this guy join? I'm not forcing him. But if you're concerned about his worth, I guess that would you rather join yourself? Oh, not bad, but thanks for the offer. Okay, but well, once again, it's Monday, so we, we're gonna put in the work. Um, although, to be fair, I say I'm gonna go to the work. Should we see what we can actually buy as it stands right now with our cash? Should we work a little bit and then... I mean, it won't make any difference, because it's just work either way. Good stat booster. But um, we'll have a look. We'll, um, we'll spy on what's going on here. So, hello, Kurosawa. You made it. Right, let's get this. So, sale dates. Inventory goes on sale on Monday at Katatsumi Police Station, Saturday at Ahoige Pharmacy. Oh, yeah, right, well, that's, that's good to know. Uh -huh. um, good job, I decided to come in here regardless. Wonderful. So, I have a short sword that... Ooh. Okay. Um, see, part of me is compelled to get armor for everyone, but... We have no money is the thing. Well, what it, are you looking for? it would make sense to maybe buy... See, sometimes Junpei is just a bit useless, but what also, I'm saying that with Yukari in my team, but how much of a boost would, say, getting this give him? Not bad, honestly, and then the only thing I'm concerned about Yukari is accuracy, but apparently that's already quite good, so... Um, we get the most... We get the most out of buying the Saber, and yeah, we'll sell the last one. And then, could we buy something you for Yukari? Only the rainbow. Mm. What are you looking for? Uh, and nothing we can do here, for? perhaps, or cheap ass help for- well, uh, this is- this for? is- I sound like I'm going to hell. Um, ooh, high-tech sandals that are easy to walk in, and rubber sole. What are you looking for? So they all have the you same you stuff available uh, to them, which is need. intriguing, but- all Hey, we bought one- we bought one thing in the sale, which I think is, you know? Oh, actually, no. Nope, no, I'm- oh. I'm getting, I'm getting in controls maxed up. We'll go in there all the way once we've worked a few shifts. Um, yeah, so let's spend time and go to work. But if we go in there next Monday, get the same sale effect, should be good. And we get 2,500 from this, don't we? Which is very helpful indeed. So, here's your paycheck for today. Try to use it wisely. Bam. And got charm and courage. Hell yeah. Wonderful. And uh, only showed it hitting charm, weirdly. Oh. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, well. Either way, not too bad. We get, we're, we're doubling up, we're getting cash, we're getting our stats up. It's, and arguably, I'd say that's probably the best use of time in the evening. If purely because, I mean, it doesn't require spending cash. <laughs> and we gain stats regardless. Well, oh. have you gotten acclimated to our school yet? Sure have. I see. Your ability to adapt to an environment is impressive. By the way, if you ever need me for anything, most times you can find me in the lounge. However, I won't be present if there's business I must attend to. If I'm not in the dorm at night, then you'll have to put up exploration for another day. I hope you understand. And that makes sense. Means we can't run in and get ourselves killed. Um. And class has ended for today. Well, Kenji, I think it's about time that we hang out again. So, gonna head out soon, how about you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get this, let's go for Ramen again. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Man, 
place hits the spot. This flavor's pretty addictive, huh? Despite its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. By the way, dude, why the hell is your dorm co-ed? Can you, like, just waltz on in to Takeba-san's room and stuff? Of course. No way. That's a secret. Secret? Yeah, sure. The only secret is that nothing is going on between you two. Well, I'm not interested in girls her age anyway. I'm more into older women. How about you? I like him all, or I'm into older women too. We should appeal to his tastes, I feel. No way, really? Not a lot of guys out there who feel the same way. Man, you're cooler than I thought. To tell you the truth, this stays between us. I have my eye on someone. This is the secret plan I was talking about. Basically, I'm just gonna ask this girl out. But get this. She's a teacher at our school. Not like that's gonna stop me from making my move. But you gotta promise you won't tell anyone, okay? It might look weird if a teacher and a student are having a thing, you know? If only who knew what people did in Persona 5. Anyway, it seems like our relationship is stronger. Oh. Rank up. Rank two of the Magician Arcana. And very happily so. Oh crap! My favorite show's about to start. See ya! I parted waves with Tomochika and went back to the dorm. So we're obviously going to focus on some of the social links where we got the matching Arcana last time. If that wasn't quite obvious. Welcome Hello. Back. By the way, the internet line which was ripped apart by the shadow early this month will be fixed tomorrow. If you have a computer in your room, you should be able to connect. So that takes care of everything that was damaged. Except, of course, Akihiko's ribcage. <laughs> Speaking of the internet, you play any online games, dude? Definitely. Nice, I got just the thing then. You gotta check this one out. It's called Innocent Sin Online. I used to totally be addicted to it, but I got kind of burned out. Maybe you'll get a kick out of it. Okay, well, sounds like a plan. Okay, um, there is a shared computer in here, so I've been told, but I have no idea where that may be. Oh my god, there's a kitchen? Can I do stuff in here? Kitchen looks spacious and practical, though it seems we can't use it yet. Soon. And... Really? I'm trying to think outside the box and you're doing this to me. Alright, let's see how it is. Either way, I'm thinking we, um, go work again. I mean, it's working well, you know, this whole this whole combination thing. Again, I don't know the optimal strategies for Persona 3. I mean, even when I played uh, through on Fez, um, I had really weird going with vibes. And this seem- this- this- this vibe is telling me to be a skint little man and just work, get my stance up and earn some cash. It's pretty crowded today. I have to work more efficiently than usual. I offer my support to a co-worker who got scolded for messing up an order. To make to quickly make room for more customers, I carried out forward of the issues all at once. I gave you all a bonus on top of your usual pay. Thanks for helping out during peak time. Oh, go on. After dealing with different customers, I feel my charm and courage have both increased. I'm gonna fast forward through this just to um It takes a hot minute, don't it? It's getting late, I should head back. I agree. I agree. And God, we're almost out of April. <laughs> ah, well. Ooh. Today's show a day. There is no school. Come to think of it, I should be able to connect to the internet now. I could try playing the game that Junpei gave me. Well, they definitely want us to, don't they? Um, so let's let's try it, sure. Studying at your desk takes time, but your academics will increase. On days where you don't have school, you may choose to take advantage of your afternoon by studying. You can now use the computer in your room to place Innocent Sin online. Playing the game will take up time, but you might meet new people. Spend time at my desk until night time. I'm so thankful they fixed this, because in the original, I believe this ate up your entire day to use. So I'm very thankful about the fact that it's now just an afternoon thing. <laughs> Autumn, the year 1999X. I have one new message. From Phil. Reality is just a series of events and players acting out what they believe to be true. When we accept that fact, our world becomes as real as any other. Reality is but an affliction of our own thoughts and expectations. But what if we merely reflections in someone else's mirror? Are you prepared to look through that mirror to discover the truth? I'm in Shinagawa Dungeon. I don't see any of the players. 
the girl in red approaches me. Sup, XD. Uh, ASL, oh wait, are you a noob? Uh, you are, huh? Oh wow, I haven't even finished making your cow yet. Oh. Guess this is the new default skin was for real. I got this cool outfit in the patch too. Not like it brought in many new people. This is kind of a dead MMO these days, XD. <laughs> Welcome to the game. Uh, cool to see you around. Um, it's not popular anymore? Now we'll ask who she is. Sorry, I got kind of OOC there. Whoa. They're supposed to be our own selves, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, what are you gonna call your car? All I see is no data. Whoa. Hmm, I, I got a good name for you. Ah, uh, Tatsuya. Yeah, that's perfect, IMO. I'll change mine to Kamaya, okay? Hey. Have a little deja vu? Huh, that's clever. Oh, really? I'm impressed. I didn't think many people played that. Okay, if you say any jokers, be sure to rescue me, Kay. Wee wee wee. And no way. Anyway, I'm usually island here on my days off. So if you're bored, maybe we can level together. It sucks to be lonely, but... I've become acquainted with a player who goes by the name Maya. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to vocalize those emoticons, but we will sure goddamn try. Um, I love the social link, by the way. It's really funny. Um, slightly strange, but very funny. And I mean, that, that's like the best type of social link. It's like... <laughs> it just is, isn't it? Aha! So this is the hermit. Okay, I thought it was the guys in the bookstore initially, but uh, they're higher font. Anyway, thank you kindly. Another one indexed. So you got to go, meh. Remember, let's think positive. Try Stow XD. Maya's player signed off. I decided to log out as well. That, like, actually gave me corrosive brain damage. The things I do. No. What's up? Oh, yeah. Use the computer over there when you want, by the way. You can buy whatever software you run onto it, too. Oh, don't play any online games on it. It'd suck if someone accidentally used your account. Using the shared computer. You can use a shared computer on the first floor for research or to run purchase software. All software is single use only and can be purchased from Mangastar Net Cafe. Like many activities, using the computer will take up a portion of your day. This is what I've been warned about. It's so good, apparently. But I don't have anything working. Oh, there's some pre installed. Package on the bookshelf has a sticker on it that says free to borrow. Should I borrow something? Digital cram school. No, 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 no. So, um. I'm gonna check that out actually, I'm gonna take them up on that offer because... Well, I'm not, I'm gonna work. But on the nights where I can't work, that's gonna be a very effective way to raise my stats, because I can spend my money... ...to get the things from... It's like books in Persona 5, but you know, digital. And nine years earlier. No, eight. Still. Anyway, Manga Star Cafe, you're one of these up here, aren't you, if memory serves? I, I hope it is, because look like a right idiot. Amushi beef bowls and that cafe. I knew it. Well software programs on my computers are for sale at the counter. Okay, you can pur run purchase software on the computer in the first floor dormitory lounge. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So Amushi fan book has a membership code for the official site. These. Okay. I don't know what those two do, but these all look like they're gonna give me courage. Education, charm, and charm. Oh, so is it? I was gonna say, is it two each for each stat? But no, it appears to be um, two for charm, or one for education, and then two for courage. But I won't complain about that. I know. Yeah, you know this works. So it says these are single use, and I know I've, I know we've spent this episode like saving money, but that seems like a very good deal. And yeah, sure, I'll buy this. Um, th th I feel very compelled that that is the right choice to go making, especially knowing how broken stuff like that was in Persona 5. It feels kind of like a no-brainer. But, naturally, we're only going to use that on nights where, you know what I mean? I feel we're going to get a lot out of that for what we're spending, and it might be better than just going to karaoke, is my thought process. But of course, we still got to work part-time, get our money up, and we'll burn through those in a, a good while anyway. So we'll probably get our time out of it, make up the cash. Uh, but. Spend our time as a part-time waiter, and 
Someone praised my service! I dealt with housewives complaining that the coffee had no effect. Uh, but can't improve what isn't there. And hell yeah! 4,000 yen. Okay, so if we were to try and save as much money as we can until Monday, uh, that sale comes back around. And also, we should be able to possibly sell some of the stuff we picked up in Tartarus. I forgot all about that the first time, but that might be a good shout. It might be. It might not be. We'll find out. Yeah, we don't have any nighttime social links yet, which feels weird. But at the same time, I'll take I'll take the time we've got now to get our stats up. I can hear people talking. Hey, listen! I spent my entire day off at the Net Cafe. You can play a computer game there, so I ended up trying a bunch of different ones. Seriously? I knew they sell computer software there, but I didn't realize you could use them in the private booths too. It's always so packed there though, so I never feel like going. Yeah, it was super crowded yesterday too. It was a miracle I managed to get my own booth. Next time I'll just buy the game. It's probably more relaxing to play it at home anyways. They're hinting, but I'm already one step ahead. Alright, anyway, afternoon. Let's see it. You're gonna ask me a question. I'm Edogawa. I'll be teaching, oh, let's call it interrogative learning. Hee hee hee. My goal is to ease some of the stress you suffer as students, of which I assume there is plenty. Think of it as psychotherapy through magic. That's right, quiet down, no talking, silence, I say. Were you surprised to hear me bring up magic? Well, this study was very recently published, so it's not well known just yet. But those who believe will be saved. In other words, the placebo effect is hard at work. That means, believe your studies are paying off, and eventually they will. <laughs> Alright then, let's get on with our first lecture, the basics of magic. Who can use magic and who cannot? That seems like a reasonable starting point. Some of you may think magic lets you do absolutely anything. Playing pranks, running vengeance on your enemies. Well, if those are the first wishes that run through your mind when it comes to magic, then I'll tell you now, you'll never master the craft. That is both Eastern and Western sorcery. Those of the wicked hearts will either be powerless or driven to ruin. There's more one vital facet to learning magic, and that is the master. Practitioners should always aspire to become as knowledgeable as their predecessors, especially if they intend to study high-level magic. But without a master's careful instruction, learning the craft becomes wholly impossible. Once you begin your training, you'll have to live in two worlds at once, the real world and the dark realm. If you ever lose the ability to distinguish between the two, then you'll be headed for straight for disaster. That's what makes the guidance of a master absolutely vital. Oh, with all that out of the way, I'll move on to meditation, one of the standards in magical training. Now I've got some handouts here for you. I'm feeling sleepy. No. Tough it out, Makoto. Well, looks like that's our time. If you think you might be interested in the practice, try meditating on the course of your day while laying in bed tonight. In vivid detail, we'll call each event taking place in reverse, sort of like traveling back through time in your mind. If you ever reach the point where you can do it for, so you may have what it takes to become a good magician. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. You have done good, Makoto. You have done good. <laughs> All that for one academic point. God. Could have just slept for courage. But we lived. We survived. Anyway. It would be rude not to. Oh, Yuki. I was thinking, that attack of a has some pretty high standards, huh? You probably have to be a real Prince Charming if you want to get her attention. Well, not like it matters to me anyway. I'm not really interested in her. By the way, heading out, I got nothing to do today. Again. Oh, it's like, it's like Komachika wants to hang out. I can grow closer to him and we're gonna get closer soon. I see no feasible downsides. Get me out there. Are we at a different ramen store? Sheesh. He knows all of them. Despite its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. Oh man, I'm so sick of this dude. Of what ramen? Of what school? Of what life? Life? Dude, you watch too much reality TV. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you could say I'm sick of life. I mean, I get up, go to school, sit through lame ass lectures, eat, watch TV, and go to bed. Okay, that settles it. I'm gonna get myself a girlfriend right now. Good luck. Cool thing to say. Soon, I'll have a girlfriend and be just as cool as you. All right, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on my secret plan. I told you about the teacher, right? I'm gonna ask her out and 
get her to fall in love with me. Her name is Miss Kano. You heard of her? She teaches third year ethics. We get along pretty well. She's not mainstream beautiful, but she's really pretty. She's got these cute little eyes, a sexy body. Uh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? You're the only one who knows. Tomochika told me more about his plan. I feel like our relationship is stronger. <laughs> this social link is legitimately just being his hype man, and I love it. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting so psyched! Let's cook up a plan of attack. Tomochika and I chatted on the walk home. And that brings us back to the dorm. Okay. Well, let's try out some of that computer oh, software. Yeah. Welcome back. Okay, so if we just run over here, we can... That's why there was only one education thing in the thing, because we get one for free here, of course. Right, well, what do we want? Because um, we know we need charm in order to speak to Yukari, so you know what? Let's learn about a virtual diet. Virtual diet. Now you two can have a slim body without having to suffer through exercise. First, train yourself to curb your appetite by looking at blue food. Looking at all the blue food on screen is making me lose my appetite. I finished watching all the videos. I feel like I have a slimmer, more attractive body already. Aha! So that gives us two points of charm. Oh! Level two! Unpolished. It's gotten late, I should head back to my room. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, and... Happy May. Happy May, happy days. Hey. It's been pretty warm lately, hasn't it? Well, it's already May. Isn't it crazy how time flies? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Seriously, and a lot's happened. And I'm sure there's more to come too. Happy things we might go, go away soon either. Since we're the only ones who can fight shadows, we sh maybe should be working harder. Besides, I need to get stronger too. I can't have someone else protecting me all the time. Good point. Good point. And straight into after school. Now, oh. Hey, you here? Sonata-san's getting checked up at the hospital today. He called me earlier and asked me to bring him something. Yeah, he knows who to count on. He only asked you because you don't have anything better to do after school. Hey, I resent that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So, what do you want you to bring? The class roster for 2E. Class roster? What's he want that for? Well, I don't have practice today, so I guess I'll come along and find out. You're coming too, right? Yes. I believe this is one of the new events which lets you hang out with the guys despite them not having social links. So let's go. Cool. Wait a minute. What? Is there a problem? Well, it was me, he asked. Well, now he's getting triple the fun. Um, is Sonata son huh? in this room by any chance? What are all of you doing here? We came to see you, but you look like you're doing just fine. That's because I'm just here for a check-in. We done here, Aki? Yeah, uh, thanks. I don't have time for this shit. You're... Never mind. I love this remix, by the way. Who was that? A friend from school. Sort of. You know how the number of apathy syndrome cases has been increasing? Well, he knows a few people who are suffering from it. So, I thought we'd have a little chat. Hey, Junpei, did you bring what I asked? Of course I did. Thanks. All right, let's get going. Uh, should you be moving your arm around so much? I'm fine. I've wasted enough time already. I need to get back to my training. By the way, Senpai, why boxing? 
You mean, why did I choose the sport? Oh, well, it's not the sport itself I like. I just wanted to learn how to fight with my bare hands. I know what it's like to feel powerless. I don't ever want to feel that way again. Besides, I'm curious to see how strong I can get. It's like a game. Only I'm competing against myself. That's one way of looking at it. But hey, I got you. I'm into games too. Yeah, video games. Ah, oh, but like fighting games. Whatever. Is it just me or does Akihiko have a receding hairline at the ripe old age of like 16? Is that just me? Who thinks that? Like his hairline is back. Regarding Akihiko's recovery, it seems he'll still need some more time. There's no need to rush things, you've been working hard, use long weekend to rest. There's been an uptick in incidents, you can't shake the bad feeling. Maybe this is some common concern on my end. Possibly. Okay, he's not here, so I can't show off his receding hairline, but I get I get the feeling. Anyway, I would like to spend my time on my computer and I would like to, you know what? Typing ghoul. Let's get spooky. Typing ghoul. Looks like a game where you take down zombies by typing. The zombies are explaining the rules very kindly to me. I don't feel like they're the enemy. <laughs> That's, that, that was an actual game that was published on the Dreamcast, wasn't it? House of the Dead, I believe. Um, I decimated the zombies that patiently provided me with a helpful tutorial. I feel like I obtained unwavering mental strength from this. I, I would be in mental anguish too. Don't worry, Makoto. I'm with you. Okay, not all the way up there just yet, but it wants to be. It's gone late, I should head back to my room. That you should. That you should. Okay, well, May the 2nd. I can hear people talking. Golden Week starts tomorrow. Do you have any plans? Mm. Uh, not really, but I'm not gonna miss tomorrow's show. Oh, totally. You're talking about Tanaka's amazing commodities, right? When I hear that jingle, I can't resist buying something. I never miss it when it's on a Sunday afternoon. I'm about to go broke. A shopping program that airs on Sunday afternoons. Since tomorrow's Sunday, maybe I'll turn the TV on in my room to watch it. Tanaka. God. I was waiting for him to show up. I, I know he's in all the Persona games, following three, but I'd argue this is his best and funniest appearance. <laughs> um, so class has ended for today, and let's see who's around. You're not, apparently, Kazushi, okay? Um, oh, it's Saturday, so... Oh, okay. Um... Hang about, you are... You're not someone I've started with. I'm um, Oyuki-san. Um, what do you want? I just wanted to talk. I don't have anything to talk about. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think we need to speak to her a few times in order to get her to like us. Although, Yuko, I'm glad to see you're around. Um, I don't actually have a matching persona for you, do I? Um, we're gonna head out shopping for some track team, like buying athletic tape and stuff. Extra hand or two. Uh, we may as well. I think if we answer correctly, we don't need to worry about not having a matching persona, so, uh, yeah. Let's get it. Okay, shopping for club stuff is done. Good thing you came with me. I didn't realize there was so much to buy. Also, I wasn't really in the mental state to do this alone today. <laughs> you did good. Huh? Oh, um, thanks. You're not gonna ask me what happened? That's what you're supposed to do, you know, based on the conversation. Oh no. In today's classic literature pop quiz, I didn't know any of the answers. And before I knew it, I was off. I ended up handing in a blank paper. That's bad. It wasn't your fault. Um, I'll say that's bad. Tell me about it. And then Mr. Okoda got all pissed off. He called me to the faculty office, and even yelled at me about the length of my skirt. I had to listen to Mr. Okoda lecture me for the longest time. He was all like, uh, this trip you'll end up as a good-for-nothing adult, and you're not putting enough thought into your future. Come on, it's way too early to worry about the future, isn't it? We're still just teenagers. That's true. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't really thought about my future at all. I'm working hard for the track team, so I think that's good enough for now. As for the future, well, <laughs> I've got plenty of time to think about it later. Yuko is smiling happily. I feel like our relationship has grown. Hell yeah! 
So that's rank two, isn't it? Yeah, strength. Wonderful. Hmm, I guess this isn't the best place for a long conversation, huh? I'm gonna go drop these off in the storage room. See ya. Oh! Ouch! Ow! Oh. Hey, it's dangerous to be running around here. Wait, aren't you? Oh, Andy Yuko! How many times do I have to tell you? You can call me Big Sis, nothing else. Oh no, they're gonna catch me. See ya, Andy! Hey, wait! And he's gone. That kid lives across the street from me. Why on earth are they playing tag in a place like this? I mean, it's dangerous, right? They should go play in the schoolyard or something. Oh no, the school gate is gonna close soon. Uh, I'll see you at practice. And away she goes. Okay, well, back into the evening. What should we learn about on the computer this fine evening? Welcome back. Finally, the three-day weekend starts tomorrow. I have some peace if you want to hang out, but the only ones interested were guys. You had to use the best of your time wisely. Need I remind you that midterms are quickly approaching? Uh... And here I was, thinking I could just live in blissful ignorance for a few days. Oh. Aha, well, no more blissful ignorance for you, Yukari. Although, I think I'm gonna blissfully use this chance to actually get my knowledge up. <laughs> Digital cram school sets out to be a set of practice questions from a famous school in the mountains. With your brilliant or average, your journey here begins by answering questions all the same. I should try some questions in the areas I'm stuttering now. S I am stuttering now, but I meant to say studying. <laughs> I finished answering a challenging yet satisfying set of questions. I feel like I've gotten better at thinking outside of the box. And is that gonna be a rank up? Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Oh, definitely next time. <laughs> Gotten late, I should head back to my room. True. True. Oh no! That's no good. Hi. How are you? <laughs> you how did you get in? What kind of welcome is that? Besides, I'm always with you. One week from now, there'll be a full moon. Be careful, the new hardship is coming. A full moon, huh? Yes, on that day, you'll face a great challenge. You need to be prepared, but your time is limited. I'm sure you're aware of that, though. I'll come see you again when it's over. Goodbye for now. How does he keep getting in, though? Seriously, I don't know about breaking and entering walls. If this was America, he'd be in bigger trouble than he is already. <laughs> Alright. It's Constitution Day. It's the beginning of the three-day holiday Golden Week. Come to think that the home shopping program will be on during the day. Yeah, right. So let's check it out, but not blow any money. We hope. We hope that's how it will end. Almost time for the shopping show, I agree. Let's check it out. An irritatingly catchy song comes from the speakers. The home shopping show airs on Sunday afternoon. You can catch it on the TV in your room or in the lounge. The inventory changes every week, and as long as you've got the money, you can buy right from your home. Your delivery will arrive at a later date. Since you can only watch each show once, you may want to check how much money you have before tuning in. It's amazing commodities! I'm your host, Tanaka, with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. They'll show you great products at an unbeatable price, so don't you touch the dial, because you don't want to miss these. I'm going to do it. Today we're introducing... The Mother's Day gift set. Want to show a mother how much you appreciate her and need some help? Then this is just for you. Oh, First up, we have a rose bouquet. The, the perfect gift. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. We'll throw in this SP Luxury Chocolate too. Guess how many? Two. Oh, this for just 2,980 yen. This is a special limited product available today only. You heard right, today only. Should I buy the rose bouquet for 2,980 yen? Nah. Thanks, kid. Next time we'll be introducing a jelly tasting set. Don't miss it. That's it for today. We're all sold out. Sorry, folks. Bye -bye. We'll see you next time. Same time, same channel. The shopping program is over.
Well, that was enriching. Um, random woman on the MMO. I think we should get to know each other. <laughs> I think I'll spend the day playing games online. I'm in Shinagawa Dungeon. I don't see any of the players. The girl in red approaches me. <coughs> Wait, wasn't this place called something else before? Oh well. Luna Vale, I think. Well, whatevs. Uh, welcome back, Tatsuya. <laughs> it's good to see you again. You remember me, right? Oh. Of course. You really do remember one and then. The other player seems happy. This is exactly like when Maya and Tatsu you remember, <laughs> Dash B. Hmm, what kind of people are we playing inside on such a beautiful day? I mean, birds are outside, flowers are blooming on days like this. Kids like you should be outside. Sunshine is overrated. Haha, <laughs> damn straight XD. Maya seems amused by that. I'm a gamer for life, are you? Well, we're supposed to be leveling, but we just keep on chatting. Ah, <laughs> I see. But hey, Granny gets old, right? It's more fun talking to you, Tasuya. I think Maya was opening up to me. I feel like we're growing closer. I feel my brain cell count is diminishing. I have to vocalize coal on three. <laughs> if this ever comes up in a job search and gets me not the job out, this is a collective effort that would cause that, okay? Anyway, <laughs> Zom, but, um, I'll be AFK for a while, so I'm looking up. Sorry! I've got a big sale lens today. Mm, ugh. Maya's player signed off. I decided to look out as well. And that's the last time we ever spoke to her. Ever. Actually, oh, hi, about. No. What's up? So I heard this from a friend. Word is, there's a guy at Escapade selling URLs for unusual sites. Selling URLs? Oh, yeah. yeah, probably not the kind of sites your average Joe could just stumble upon himself, you know? It does sound pretty interesting, but a glitzy club like that probably got the security up the wazoo. Nope! She was in line in places like that. You need some serious courage to go in anyway. That is true, actually. Um, I know exactly what he's talking about. I know the guy. Also, I can point out Akihiko's hairline. You were balding! Like, you look so that, like, where his hair is is obviously not, like, the roots. Like, God! Sir, you are... What have you been through? Just don't tell me that. Spoilers, but like, so what, what have you been through? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go and we're gonna learn. I mean, we said we were gonna get... We should probably do midterms now I think about it, but... We'll learn courage some other time. Language made easy. These are conversational dialogues paired with pictures for overseas travelers. The protagonist wants to go to the airport, but keeps getting distracted on the way. I watch as they speak with broken grammar to get a discounted burger. He's learning. Eventually, the protagonist overcame the language barrier and reached the airport. I feel more confident in my speaking skills now. That is knowledge, isn't it? I'd hope so. Really? Another level up? Damn you. Damn you. It's gone late, I should get back to my room. We'll get it one time. We'll get it eventually. It's not right now, apparently. Either way, I got a few more days left, so uh, let's plow on through. Kenji. I've got a text message. A little refresher. You know what? I don't think I did well on his last hangout, so this works for me perfectly. What are you up to today? If you're free, let's go somewhere. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. I just, you know, sure. Works perfectly fine for me, actually. Whoa. Dang, dude. You should know how to dress to impress. I want to get some new threads, but I don't have time for that right now. On the weekends, I just want my tracksuits. I also get my head in the game and all that. <laughs> that way, I'm ready to go 24-7, you know? That's your dedication, man. Impressive. Yeah. It's metal strength, man. That's what I'm all about. Nobody that can beat me. Well, in spirit. You're not half bad, though, we'll give you that. Miyamoto seems to be having a lot of fun. I feel we became closer today. So, what's the plan? Should we just walk around and find a place to eat? We walked around the strip mall for a little while before we had to head back to the dorm. I am liking those little hangout things, though. Uh, in the original, they were a bit more cumbersome, but... I quite like them. 
Right. Anyway, someone's messaging us. Part-time position open. Yep, uh, sounds about right. But um, we're only going to work after we again go and take advantage of the sale and sailing the items uh, which we have accumulated. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Let's see, we're thinking ahead. We're planning. Also, again, it makes the, our computer software last that little bit longer, so it, it all, it's all been machinationed. Right, anyway. So, sell item. Huh, that's 11,000 in the bank. Right, well, so, they are. Well, should we get Yukari a new bow? I mean... I mean, we could really treat them. Um, granted, yeah, Junpei does a lot of damage as is with his current sword, so I'm saying we get that. We get Yukari a new bow. And, I mean, they should last us a little bit. Footwear is something I'm not super concerned about just yet. Like, like everyone, if I was to check... Okay, never mind. Your evasion is awful. Your evasion is awful, also awful. And your evasion is also awful. Fortunately, I don't really count on evasion to carry me in the game. But, could we buy... I think we barely have enough to get these. So, equip and then sell. And we do that for all three of them. And then... What? We already had a rash guard on Yukari? Huh? You uh, finished? X. I'm. Yeah, I won't complain. But like, so that means we've got an extra one now, right? We can just stick on Junpei. Well, what do you know? Call, call me legitimately surprised. Um. Well, I mean, I won't complain. Just quite surprised. Either way, I think we're good for now. Uh, but let's go work, get our good stuff, get that money, and uh, yeah, we'll just go on through. So it works it while working as a part-time waiter, doesn't seem like there's anything super out of the ordinary. Oh, I got given a cup of pheromone coffee, dealt with the complaints, and oh, he's increased our railway rate to 3,000. So this does actually give us that benefit then. That is important to know. I will, I'll bear that in mind. But uh, yeah. And courage. Gotta get that up as well. You know? Gotta, gotta go speak to that guy in the club. First nighttime social link that unlocks, I believe. Um, i trying to think. I think there's like two of them, if memory serves. It's, it's, there's a ridiculously low amount of social links available in the evening, which is kind of good um, for me, if I'm being honest. But uh, let's see who's a calling. I've got a text message. Of course. Since we got the day off, hit me up if you want to go somewhere. I'll be free till the afternoon. Smiley emoticon stylized to be like a Jack Frost. <laughs> of course. This is no question. This is no question. Don't even... Don't even hesitate, Makoto. Don't even hesitate. Hey, so... Dude, I just got the greatest plan for that micro I was reading. I'm totally gonna get Miss Kano this way. You wanna hear it? Huh? Do you? Uh, you know, you know. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna say to her. Hey, Miss Kano. I've been having a really hard time with this problem. And then she'll be like, Oh, don't worry, Tomachika kun I'm here to help you. Just you leave everything to me. Yo, what's up? Well, what do you think? Perfect plan, right? Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> I know, right? It's totally gonna work. Tomachika seems excited. I learned a little more about him today. <laughs> All right, let's continue our research so that I can get my halfway ever after. I'm counting on you, dude. If you come up with something good, I'll buy you dinner or something. We are his hype man, through and through. And I cannot be prouder to say that that's his opposition in the world. Anyway, back to the coal mine. Or as I like to call it, the dormitory. Um, so... Uh, Junpei, you're the only person here. <laughs> it's not a summon Kirijo senpai on back tonight, so we can't go to Tartarus. Um, that works for me. I'm gonna go work at the cafe. I <laughs> wish we could invite Junpei to come work with us at the cafe. Like, I feel like that'd be funny. To be fair, though, I gotta say, from what I've played of this so far, this is really good. And it does make me very excited for the potential Persona 6 we're gonna get at some point. You know, like... God. It, it gets, gets me uh, excited. Anyway, can't bring myself to enter the club. If my courage was ordinary, I might be able to go in. Alright, and then... What are you? Hippo Blue, guided by the spirits, we reopen on July 22nd. Okay, it's so a bit of a snoop, but once again, we're gonna go work part-time. Get that charm, get that courage, get it up. Can't work here forever, though. 
Um, because I believe knowledge is the thing that takes the most effort to max out. Courage, courage would probably be like a decent way to maxing out. I, I, that might sound stupid, but I think you only need like 8,000, no, like 80 courage points. And that's like quite a little amount, at least in my personal opinion. Um, especially because there's, I think there's six tiers to social stats in this game, so it's like, weird. But, either way, um, well five times you can level them up, should I say, so. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, I, I found it weird. A bit strange. A bit strange. Either way, what you talking about? I can hear people talking. The only week is over. I'm so sad. You know, rabbits can die from sadness. Okay. One, you're not a rabbit, and two, it's not sadness, but loss of appetite. What in the way? I thought for sure it was because of heartbreak. Oh, speaking of sad, I saw an elementary school kid at Nanakahi Shrine last time I visited. She looked so sad playing all by herself. I felt sorry for her. An elementary school student alone at Nayanag Naganaki Shrine. I wonder if she's having some sort of trouble. The first bell has rung. We shall have to investigate. Hmm. I don't really feel like teaching today. Last night I was watching a TV when I saw a special on trains. Traveling by train is always nice, isn't it? Staying in a sleeper car is like a traveler's dream. Speaking of trains, let's talk about the rhombus-shaped instruments on the roof of the train. The power is generated when this device comes into contact with the overhead wires. You look like you know what I'm talking about, Yuki. Let's see if that's the case. What do you call the device that helps generate electric power for the train? Pantograph, a piston, a master controller. Panto... I'm gonna say pantograph. Yes, that's right. Hey! You've had more fun than I thought. Or perhaps you're just simply a rail fan. Most modern trains take electricity by bringing the pantograph into contact with the overhead wires. However, the monorail we use has the pantograph hidden under the train instead. I answered correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect? Oh! Charm. Not academics, just charm. <laughs> they don't want me maxing out academics too easily, of course. Class is ended for today. Apparently there is a lonely girl at the shrine. Uh, that works for me, but not for the fact that I want to do that, but it has uh, prompted me to go to the shrine. And we could initiate her social link, um, just for the sake of it, but... Oh, they're here. Relationship Fortune 100 yen. Imagine someone you were tied to via social link and your relationship will deepen. If your bond has been damaged, it may be repaired. The time will pass as you reach your fortune. Depending on your luck, your fortune may have an effect on your wallet, for better or worse. And yes. Should I spend the day here and draw a fortune? No. But sometimes in the evening, if we don't want to go spending money, we could do that to increase our social links to a point where they're ready to progress the next day, which is pretty cool. Ooh! 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 No, I- there's something on the ground. Twilight Fragment. Twilight Fragment is a strange item that appears to deeply resonate with the dark art. Keep an eye out, you may find them in unexpected places. I effing knew they existed. Yeah, so, in case you didn't watch the last episode, because it was more of like a grind-based focused one, we were having so much trouble trying to find them, these damn things. And now I've just found multiple of them in the space of like two minutes. Ah, not that I'll complain at all. You know, like we found some, we found some. Helpful for next time. But that's where they spawn. Um, so I wonder, is that? Maybe if I were to head, I'm just gonna have a quick like check, I suppose. See what's around. So it's those little blue dots on the ground. Now I know what to look for. Like, I don't know, maybe, Maybe they spawn at the shrine, maybe they don't, but we'll head to the station, actually. I feel like that's that's calling to me to be quite a, a good spot to have a few lying around, possibly. Apathy Syndrome Man, uh, you, you're killing my vibe. Can you not do that? And, hey, I was right. So, I wonder if these respawn every day, then. Um, mates, really? Can you, like, not do that? It's kind of a cow bummer, if I'm being honest. Kind of, you know, don't want people being apathetic on the floor. Kind of a bit cringe. Um, is that, that, that's not one, that's a cam. Anyway, um, very interesting. Now with that said, I want to go to the shrine. And you may as well start the, uh, the child social link. Or not, depending on her starting requirements. So, I Michael. Mum and Dad said not to talk to bad people. Are you a bad person? No, I'm good. You're not lying, are you? I can play right now because I'm hungry. There's something I really want. I want to be something round and hot, and soft too. 
Maiko seems to be hungry, I should get her food that surrounds hot and soft. I should have done that before I left, but I think if we go to the strip mall, we should be able to find someone that sells like rice buns or takoyaki, right? Yeah, you, you look like you sell Octopia. Come over here, young man. My takoyaki is delicious and cheap. 400 yen. Buy this. And then we're going to go feed the starving child. And bada bing bada boom. Um, she is now in eternal servitude to us. Or maybe she just likes us. Ooh, this is my favorite. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Michael took my weird takoyaki. That was so yummy. I ate the whole thing by myself. Now I'm thirsty. I want something fizzy. That one mad bitter drink is the best. I heard you can buy it at Iwatai Dice Station, but I don't know where. Okay, fizzy and mad. We, like, where are your parents? Where are your parents, kid? Right. Vending machine? That is a telephone box. Although, that is not a telephone box. It's a vending machine, should I buy something to drink? And we want... Uh, it must be Madball, surely. Anyway, child, I'm coming back over. I got you an energy drink. This is literally illegal in the UK, but in Japan apparently it was perfectly fine in 2009. <laughs> she took my Madball. Nothing beats a nice gold one! The localizers knew what they were doing there, surely. Um, oh, of course. I'll be waiting for you here. You better not be lying. And yeah, we got to come back another day. Um, so we can't actually hang out with her. <laughs> well, um, you know what? Let's go hang out with the elderly couple. Why not? We have a matching persona for them, so, you know, makes sense. Um, I mean, who, who's messaging? Work related. Nah, I don't feel like it. So, bookworms. Let's go closer to them, get more juice out of our social link hangouts. You know, just think ahead. Be clever with it. Oh, you came back. Welcome. Uh, what was your name again? Makoto Yuki. Oh, no need to tell me. I was just joking. I'm not that senile. My wife and I were just talking about you. Tell me, do you like this kind of treat? Someone gave it to me, but I have more than enough. Go ahead and take it. Thank you. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. You don't have to thank me for something as small as this. You're so polite, I say. You're like his complete opposite. Uh, would you like another to give to a friend? We have so many. My wife and I would take forever to finish them all. I'd like that. Right then. Here you go. Uh, 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 for real this time. Uh, wh what was your name again? Goodness, dear. It's him. Remember? My apologies. He's been terribly forgetful lately. Here you are. Melon Bread X2. Say, uh, uh, where did that boy run off to, dear? He should be here helping customers. Sorry about that. No need to apologize. I'm sure you could use another youngster like yourself around, instead of talking to an old man like me. I'm sure our son will be back soon enough. Right, dear? Oh, my dear, he's... He's what? Oh, that's right. Our son has already passed away. I'm sorry, young man. I apologize on behalf of my son for not being here to greet you. The elderly couple opened up about their painful past. I feel we're growing closer. <laughs> Quite the bombshell to drop in rank two of the social link. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Hey now, the two of you look like you just seen a ghost. Dark outside. We don't need it to be dark in here, too. Come visit us again, will you? We'll be waiting. I parted ways with the elderly couple and went back to the dorm. Okay. Well, getting towards the end now, but not just yet. Not over just yet. More people have been getting apathy syndrome lately. Or am I just imagining things? For some reason, I feel like something bad's gonna happen, but maybe I'm just being paranoid. 
I mean, it's not like anything really happened since that one day, so we should be fine, right? Well, maybe. Is he on the PSP? Can I, like... Is that PSP? It, it looks more like a Game Gear. Ah, he's playing Street Fighter. Interesting. Anyway, same old business, same old tactics as it were. We're gonna go get employed. Because money is power, and we can spend money to have a good time. And then obviously if we save up enough money, we can maybe use the arcade to level up a bit more efficiently. But for now, for the time being, let's just get that money. And um, yeah. I sweated it out while working as a part-time waiter. Anything else funky happening? Cleaned up efficiently and received compliments from other staff members. I complained with housewives. Here's your paycheck for today, try to use it wisely. I hope he increases my pay again, that'd be great. I'm just, I'm just subtly hoping to manifest that as a thing. But, you know how it is. Now can I level up courage? Please tell me I can. <sighs> maybe next time, maybe after tomorrow if we use the other courage game. That might be, that might be the strategy, you know? Possibly, possibly, possibly. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, 7th. Got 7th, and then we'll play through until the evening of the 8th, I think. Anyway, class is ended for today. Um, I kind of want to get Kazushi done, but also it's like my guy. My guy, my guy, my Donovan, my, my home slice. Hey. Totally random, but have you ever heard of the gourmet king? Right, there's a foodie around here as it could have of the rest. I'd say he's a student at our school. Wouldn't it be cool if he tells the best places to eat? I'd totally take a date there. Oh, yeah. I heard he's really into sandwiches now, so you could probably catch him eating him one in town. Tomochika gave me a lead on the gourmet king. Oh, what? Well, by the way, I just wanted to talk to you for a sec. Don't worry, it won't take long. Oh. What's this about? What's this about? What's he scheming? Hey, thanks for coming, man. You mind waiting here for a sec? Sure. Okay, listen. Don't freak out. I'm gonna go ask Miss Kano out. Like, right now. Good luck. Man. Time to go get myself a girlfriend. Alright, this is it. Here I come. Dude, dude, dude! Oh man, listen to this. She said yes! I can't believe it. This is crazy. I was just about to ask her out, but then she asked me if I wanted a private lesson. For real, dude, I owe you. I owe you big time for hearing me out. Sounds like Tomochika's secret plan went well. I feel like our relationship is closer. He so thinks he's in there, but in reality he's probably getting like straight D minuses. <laughs> but hey. I'm about to head over to her house. Oh man, I'm not ready for this. I shouldn't expect anything too crazy from the get go, right? And again, she is an adult, so. Oh, forgot you were there. Sorry, but I got a jet. Dot dot dot. It's getting dark, so I decided to head home. <laughs> There's not even any commentary. We can't even part ways with him. He's already gone by that point. <laughs> I love Kenji. Sup, dude? Hey, have you seen any of those freaks are in town lately? Man, things are gonna be pretty boring around here if that's the kind of thing that sticks out. Hey, how about I go to Tartarus? Oh wait, we hit that dead end, so we can't really go any further. It's me. Later, the place supposedly changes every day, so who knows? Maybe I should go with you guys, just in case. Akihiko, are you trying to make me angry? <laughs> he so wants to fight things, and I so want to fight things with him as well, because he's sick. But, you yeah. We can't just yet. Anyway, Animal Othello. Looks like a game where you play Othello against cutely drawn animals. NANI! The element begins to bore after I beat it in Othello. I keep playing and the cute animals continue to weep when they lose. I managed to make all the animals break into tears. You cold motherfucker! You cold! No, no, no! I'd refund the game if it made me do that. I have a conscience unlike you. It's gotten late. I should head back to my room. Of course, of course. Although we can now start that social link in the um the location, the, 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 that one, the, the place. The club. My class has ended for today. I gotta ask him how it went. 
I need to know, is he in there? Yeah. You wanna know the secrets of a happy relationship with a girl you like? Normally, you just hang out, chat, get to know each other better, right? But you gotta watch what you say. If you step in the landmine, it'll all go up in smoke. And when that happens, it's over. She's through. Usually, it won't be so bad, but still. If she does walk out on you, what should you do? I guess she's gonna get any hands needs and beg for forgiveness, even if it takes days. <laughs> Not that I'd ever have to worry about that. Nobody knows Imiri better than me. By the way, you're hitting that, right? Seems like Tomachika wants to hang out. I gotta ask him just how in there he got. <laughs> Perfect. In that case, let's go to the Wild Duck. There's a lot I wanna tell you today. Yeah, Emiri is... Oh, that's Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kinda took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. Good-looking, huh? <laughs> well, I need to be his hype man, I need to be his hype man. Is that so? Yeah, nah, we, we need to be his hype man. All the way. Hey, I didn't need to hit an herb. Come on, don't worry, we're still gonna hang out, alright? Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy, too. Hey, don't tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. Wow, really? I told you because I trust you. Tomochika really trusts me. I feel like our relationship is stronger. Oh, we didn't get as many points there. I can't complain, though. He's rank 5 in episode 4 of the series. <laughs> I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now. I don't think Tomochika's ever gonna stop talking. I ended the conversation at a good spot and went home. Now the point is, I don't think that went all too well. So you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, it's you. Welcome well, back. It's odd how really how quiet it's been. It's been a month, but I can hardly believe that this will be the last time they appear outside Tartarus. Yeah. I agree. I w there's been a sharp rise in the loss recently. I wouldn't be surprised if something happened. The mysterious boy I saw during the dark hour warned of an ordeal in one week. Tomorrow will walk exactly one week since then. I should prepare myself today. Subtle hints. But, um, I do want to record that immediately after I finish this video, because I'm really enjoying the game. Not, not sure if you could tell. Oh. We can't use the shrine at night time. Well. Um, I guess I was gonna win it at the shrine and then, you know, use that as a thing, but I guess not. Um, either way, gonna end this here and then immediately pick up next episode. Um, but yeah, if of course you haven't enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, it does all help, but a bunch of let us know that you do want to see more of this and all that good stuff. And until next time, but said and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name has been Ramek and peace out.